Okay, so we are on chapter 7, Media and Technology. No? <coughs> this lecture tackles about how the development of uh, technology across time mm, as human beings, as social animals, has uh, affected the way we behave in a given society and also uh in line with that uh with those concepts would be the development of the media you know, the uh the process by which uh we impart information and knowledge you know, to a broader scope of the the population and uh how it ha how it affects the general uh, mindset of the people okay. so let's go first with the idea of or the concept of technology technology often creates changes that lead to ever greater inequalities no uh sige before tamo ambak ana nga idea let me just say that technology has been the way of uh, human beings cope with uh, with problems, you no, know, with societal problems or any issues in society, you know, that uh, and so they develop some technologies so that they could address those problems. And so the the idea is a society exists, right? And so. If society exists, then in a realistic setting, there would be problems along the way. And so, how would the how would people address that problem? They would use technology to address that. Okay. And so that's the trend for ever since the dawn of man, right? Ever since the the butanta. Uh, time in memorial man has always been fascinated with technology why because it addresses their problems and so it would address a problem and then later on they would encounter another problem of a similar form or in any case a different form and so they have to produce another technological advancement to address that problem. Okay. Uh, an example would be uh, they had in primitive societies they had problems with carrying uh, daghan ng mga loads of butanta uh, objects or materials for example. For example, magdala sila og uh, lima kasakong bugas, right? And so, the primitive way was, of course, that would be, that would require five people, tagsa sila og sako, and then they would transport the bugas from point A to point B. Now, with technological advancement, they, they, they created, or they came up with the idea of a, of a wagon, no, nga, birahon sa usaka, beast of burden a donkey or a horse or a carabao i don't know and so there's the idea and so they they materialized the idea and now the wagon has become the technology that addressed the problem that they had and so was easier ilang pag transport sa lima kasakong bugas using the wagon di na isa ka di na lima ka tao it only requires one person nga mag-guide sa sa beast to carry the load from point A to point B but as society progresses nagkadako or nagkabroad ang iyang range nga maadtuan sa tao and so di na makaya sa hayop ang from point A to point B and from point B to point C and so there would there would be a requirement of another technological advancement that would butanta 
that would address that problem and so the automotive and so on and so forth right and uh, of course with communication right we had we had uh, person to person na communication but what if layo ang tao ng imong gusto imong gusto i, i made, made contact with and so they created a form of communication using notes papers no but uh, letters right but that requires time and so some societies even devise a way you know, to to utilize mga kalapati pigeons you know, to send notes nga nasa lagyo. and so they had that but of course much less efficient right compared sa technological nga nga setting na to karon wherein if anyone is far away you could you could just te- uh, send them a text message or call them no mas easier na mas efficient lesser time consuming so that's technology no that's the role of technology sa advancement sa in terms of addressing some problems in our society but then again with every boon comes a bane why because it doesn't come without a cost right and so technology here we arrive in this presentation you know, that uh, with with greater leaps in the advancement of technology magkadako ang gap sa inequality between the opposite poles between person A to person B right magkadako ang gap why no unsa ni siyang gap the class based and the knowledge based nga gap class based for example would be a digital divide between people who can afford these technological advancements these gadgets and the people nga dili maka afford such as some to some part it's true no uh, if you see ang case nato sa Philippines karon where where the public school nga setting is pushing towards online classes and so many are saying uh, daghay pubri and so on and so forth yes tinod na siya ang case but also in line with that the di- ramang good online no we also have modular but it's true in the sense sa society nga mas mas maka afford sila og uh, gadgets and stuff that relates to these technological advancements because mas kaya nila paliton that would leave the people the lower class silbi that would lead the lower class behind sa sa utility sa technology and since from the beginning atong gisulting nga technology was there to meet the demands of society ang naitabo karon because of a power struggle or rather not power struggle because of a gap between the classes no the technological advancement na sa nga na na, na na yield as a consequence sa butanta sa society ang uh, pahimulus lang would be the upper class or in a sense mas mauna sila kaysa sa lower class so, so that's one problem nga ma-form where in the lower class would have butanta would have a longer butanta waiting period for them to use the the that tech that certain technology while the upper class of course they could utilize that technology anytime they want because they can afford it but then again we have to we have to clarify that this is not the fault of the upper class that ma afford nila no because in a free society 
again as I was saying it's not their fault that they are rich right so it has they have arrived in that situation as a product of their own butanta of their own circumstances right so then again di na to madinay nga na ay divide class based nga division the next gap would be the knowledge gap and since we have bisugdan mo siya sa class based and so if we have a group of people nga maguna sa utility sa technology we have the other group of people nga maulahi and so the gap between them in terms of knowledge and information with regards to technology and with regards to society magka magka magkadako magka broaden okay what do I mean by this? Of course, uh, students nga ga attend og uh, private schools must adapt sila sa technological advancements. Or not, not necessarily private schools. Students nga naa sa syudad, butanta, sige, kana. Must adapt sila mo gamit sa technological tools na to ron nga available kaysa sa mga students who are in the hinterlands nga maglisod og gamit og phones maglisod galig himo og powerpoint presentations no but then again no this is nobody's fault it's just a problem that comes with the advancement sa technology right it's no nobody is to be blamed no you cannot blame the the people in the hinterlands kay wala sila access and you cannot blame the people nga nay access nga kaya nila buhaton because they were born with it na sa ilaha it's very utanta kaning it's very close sa utility sa society ang mga technological advancements take for example mga internet cafe right wala kay na sa hinterlands but yes it's there was a time in in history nga nagsulputan ang mga internet cafe ng murag kabute right so you have that no? so there's a problem there no? media and technology no so this two concepts are interwoven nga man because what we are using with technology is basically the application of knowledge and the presentation of knowledge or rather the transmission of knowledge and data and that's also butanta the role of the media sa society sa contemporary society it cannot be divorced those two concepts cannot be divorced from each other because since time immemorial man has been using technology and media to to translate knowledge into practical uh, use and also to to pass on information from point a to point b Media is a term that refers to all print, digital, and electronic means of communication. And since we have the concept of communication, di na to ni sila ma-divorce sa idea sa societies. Right? And from the time the print printing press was created, technology has influenced how and where information is shared. Okay, so we are here to categorize technology. I know, medyo, uh, medyo by point rata. So, what you're, what you will be doing is you read on this on your own, so that ang uh, mahitabo is at least maklarify sa inyo. But 
ang explanation aning upat ka aning upat ka categories of the media it will be explained uh, karon sa inyo ha okay so first point is the print newspaper it's the oldest form of uh, butanta oldest form of print media the rather earliest form of print media So you turn it. Mm, it was made possible through the invention of the printing press, right? So you have a printing press, okay? And so unsay implication ane. Before a printing press na invent. If gusto ka mag-replicate og isa ka book for example, if you want to replicate one certain book, mung buhaton is to write you, you have to rewrite that book, copy and rewrite that book no from the scrolls or from the manuscript and then I have ni mo siya i-compile ni mo ay mo siya matawag nga book. With the development of of uh the printer the, the news print uh, the printer ang itabo is readily replicated ang information nga ga revolve and so if readily ga readily siya ma replicate readily pud siya ma 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 spread sa communities ang implication sa uh, print printed ng media is this nitaas ang rate of literacy among the populace and also mas daghan ng mga bata or daghan ng mga students had butanta they had this utility with books more books schools means more butanta literate ng mga bata ang literacy rate ni taas ang information is freely flowing uh, freely flowing among the people so mas daghag mas daghag ideas nga ni arise no but it's not yet the final form of uh, the butanta the propagation of information right because it's so crass and it has its own limitation unsay limitation sa print newspaper or sa printed nga media its limitation is this dili siya ka dili siya ka labang without being brought physically from one place to another right so if i had a book dere and naka sa isa ka lugar nga layo what would happen is that lisod para sa ako nga i-share ang book sa imo not unless i-send nako na right so limited kay siya limited kaayo ang iyang ang iyang pagpropagate no but prior to that or prior to the invention of the printing machine of course no Rel i rather relative to the kwan the invention of the printing machine okay na siya but if imo siyang i i tandi sa uban nga developments sa te uban technological developments through the, through sending information of course medyo daghan dig rather mas daghag limitation ang printed media and so we have the television and the radio it started off with the radio and then the television both uses frequencies to send information and data and kaning dua must must broad siya og scope kay nga naman kay pwede ni mo siya i-send and people could just listen to it di na siya kinanglan mo basa og libro right you can just truncate the idea sa iya ha, through the radio or through television Right. 
for example values no uh sige when we talk about values for example within a community first or pinakakaraan nga way to impart values is to to tell a story that has an underlying uh, value system right and so we have the development of the printed media you can now what print and replicate copies of that story with underlying uh, with underlying uh, value system and now with television and radio you you can now have a broader nga broader nga butanta range of listeners telling the same story no? and then of course television visual naman siya people could insert their different butanta ideas in those narratives and so hence dira na din magsugod ang butanta change in terms of value system sa isa ka community right next we have the film okay the film is very uh it's very it's still new no the idea with films is that it carries with it no it carries with it the culture kung asa siya gihimo kana and ang culture sa yang market but then again since we had the concept na of how culture is transmitted right na manta ato appeal dira ang films so a culture is transmitted from one film to another even ang ilahang uh, standards for aesthetics standard for beauty standard for living ilang design of life is actually transmitted gikan sa ilaha padulong sa ato and if here's the example filipino societies and then we have films right sige uh, pinakasikat karon would be korean drama so boom right uh Walay lalis ana because in terms of Korean drama, nin, mas nindut yud siya sa Filipino ng mga series and films, right? But here's the idea: the values nga gina portray dera are not necessarily Filipinos ng values, right? The belief system nga gina impart dera are not necessarily culturally butanta aligned sa ato ah, because lahi ilang kultura but what's happening is of course no the idea and those concepts makuha nila makuha sa mga sa young people or anyone and then i-adapt nila sa ilang life i'm not saying there's nothing wrong is i'm not saying there's something wrong with it and I, i'm also not saying it's a good thing but what i'm saying is dali ra kayo i-transmit ang isa culture towards the other culture with the help of films. No. And lastly would be the new media. Dire na ta mus dire na musulod ang uh, idea or the concept of the internet. No. So, we are still limited sa print newspaper limited ra ka sa sa locality geographic wise television and radio nagka broaden film nagka broaden pagyod because it could be transmitted uh, overseas right but with new media the the world has become butanta interconnected communication has been butanta has been brought has brought people together no even sa lay layo nga dapat and so with new media with the internet ang problema lang gyud is this walay norms within the new media okay maagi ana to niyo nya walay norms with print newspaper you still have some sort of norms because you're still stuck with the same most likely with the same geographical nga location in ancient times no television and radio napay norms nganuman because na uh, like 
in the Philippine setting, we have the MTRCB, right? So, there are still norms. In films, there are still norms because there are genres in movies. What do I mean by this? Nay drama, nay romance, nay, nay action. And so, there are norms within the film uh, industry itself. Ang problema sa new media is that it has become so new and niabot siya sa atong kinabuhi in a very butanta exponentially fast nga rate that we don't know how to put we don't know how to attribute values in it for the time being right so that's the problem that's another problem in terms of information nindot kesha because as what we are doing now mamina mo lecture pre-recorded sa youtube uh, mo communicate mo nako through Facebook atong group page na Google Classroom which is also part of the new media right but then again we don't know we still don't know how to attribute values in it and so dira taga problema wala norms within that right it's the only platform sa kalibutan wherein you could say friends mo sa imong mama sa Facebook. Of course, friends mo sa imong mama, right? But that's the that's the weird thing with it that there's a category ka, friends mo. And so if dili ni mo friend imong mama sa Facebook, dili mo friends, right? And so and there's this automatic idea nga people that you know gitawag na siya og friends. In another platform. Dili tawag, ang tawag is dili friends, followers, right? We have Instagram. And so, there's a change in marketing wherein you seem to be somebody who is looked up to because ang tawag sa mga tao nga you're connected with is not, are not friends, but rather followers. No? So, uh, the idea with new media wala na ko na discuss diri uh, wala na point out daghan siya og daghan uh, classic classic siya og butang ta categories na i forums na emails social networking sites content aggregators no uh, virtual reality online apila drang online gaming yes blogs portals and social news sites and so with this butang ta new dimension sa atong realidad even with that, wala takabalo how to act in the digital nga age. Diba? I mean, sige, uh, in terms of norming lang, how should a husband behave sa social media? How should a guy who is married behave sa social media? Sige. Would there be any chance nga pwede siya mo chat o lain babae? under the context of friendship under the context of what of of <laughs> other people diba nga iyang kaila but then again <laughs> but then again there's the question bawal ba di ay and who's who will say nga dili right if naay mag good morning sa imong asawa under the pretense or context nga their friends and so you would say bawal ma good morning kay kuan it's too intimate right o oh, sige fine so musulod siya sa trabaho di siya greet nobody could greet that person kay binyo na siya right wala takabalo sa boundaries lisud lisud itread ang boundaries nato labi na sa new media no and most or most of us are very susceptible sa new media concept what do i mean by this susceptible ta sa information that even if those informations nga ginahatag sa ato are not that credible or fake if it fits sa atong narrative then we we will receive it as truth mo pud na siya ang problema uh, daghan sa mga daghan sa denizens would have this hard time uh, classifying unsa ang false information sa right or true information. Kanapod. 
Diba? O balik ta sa atong relationship with other people in terms of the new media. Dapat bagyod ko friends mo in real life friends pag mo sa Facebook. And is it necessary nga i-follow dapat nila imo Instagram account? Is it necessary nga i-post ni mo dapat imo ang uyab sa Facebook? Kanang gitawag ninyo flex. No? That's a new term, right? Because sa kinara- sa sa past nga generations nila bay walay flex flex kung uyab mo uyab mo kung ga uyab kung gauban mo then gauban mo but here's the idea with the new media na may gitawag nga flex nga eh, dapat i profile picture dapat mo like ka sa yang post and mo like siya sa yang post dapat i heart and so on and so forth right Oh, maabuta sa emoji natay gitawag nga value system within the butan ta, the communication system nato sa sa social media, no? The reaction nga mga nga mga nga mga emoji dira. What's funny with that is that nag attribute ta og atong value system sa butang nga wala untay value system. What do I mean by this? Nag-post ka og uh, profile picture. And then Nakay choice sige whether i like ba nila or i heart which is which has the most impact sa mo and let me guess mas dako ang values ninyo ibutang sa heart nga man well because it's a heart but it's just a heart right and what does it mean what does it mean kung gi like lang niya ang picture o gi ang gi heart Unsa pa sabot ana? Is there a difference between the two? If gi like lang nako na and gi heart? And what if ang isa ka lalaki gi heart niya ang picture sa usa ka babae? Does that really mean nga minyo ana na niya nga babae? Does that mean nga ganahan jud siya? Nagka-crush siya or ganahan lang siya sa picture or na bored lang siya? Right? Wala ta kabalo in terms of the attribution of those values, but then again, kita mismo kita rega attribute sa values and so what happens is that ni react lang imuhang tao nga ganahan ni react sa imong post and so dagan sa inyo would assume nga ganahan sila nimo or, or i don't know na so inana wala tay actually all of that is vague in the area of new media what takabalo we don't know what to do how to behave we're still trying to figure out unsa gyud ning unsang internet That's on the metaphysical level. We're still trying to figure out unsa gid ni siya. Because if we answer the question nga for communication man siya, then we have failed utterly because in terms of hatang profound lang uh, interaction person to person, the internet has caused butanta massive damage sa butanta sa interaction from one person to the other in terms of true nga interaction bitaw because i'm not saying uh, it's not a true interaction i'm just saying medio surface level siya if you're interacting on the new media or the internet nga platform right but oh yes you have the argument nga layo man yes that that could be used right but then again we cannot deny the facts nga uh some of our relationships daghan sa tong relationships with other people are now reduced to the concepts of what of uh smileys emojis no di na gyud ka mo type og ha 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 right usay mo react na lang ka og ha 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 or lol no for that matter which is unsa jud ka nang lol no No, because the definition of lol is laughing out loud no but if you type the when you are typing that lol no are you are you really laughing out loud diba actually you're not and actually if magkatawa ka sa isa ka post you're not most of the time you're not really laughing no nagpagawas lang ka og video daghan nga hangin sa imong baba like huh? and then that's it you move to the next post no But then again, it has its benefits. Yes, i-balance lang nato ha. It has its benefits and it has its bane. No, so the bane would be, uh, kato. We still don't know what it is. We're still trying to figure out. 
We're still trying to maneuver ourselves. We're still trying to find some sort of norm within the new media nga concept. Right? So, kana. And the new media, the information, one thing with it is dali ra siya a manipulate to be biased towards one institution. So, product advertising, uh, dako kining uh, uh, role in terms of media and technology. Why? Because money makes the world go round. And so, walay pulos ng tanan ninyong gi, kan tanan ninyo gi, gi utilize dira sa internet. It's been most of it is uh, the profit sila through advertising. So inana. I had one student ask me nga, sir, daghan na kwarta ron kay daghan na mag views imong YouTube channel. Actually wala she wala wala ko kabalo unsa on pagpangwarta na. Maybe in the future makabalo ko. We don't know, no. But as of now, wala man, no. So <laughs> that, that's the thing with it, no. Uh, we also have vloggers and bloggers, rather vloggers that uh, would really find ways para lang mutas ang views, no. Kana lang po, just to get the just to get to the profiteering side, no. Mijulain na po. Mijulain if we abandon our values for money. But that's what's happening with the with the content ng mga aggregators na to over YouTube and those other sites. No. Anyway, so these companies use adver uh, advertising, adver advertisements, no, uh, to profit. And so, kana the the only problem with that would be through these advertisements again hinahinay niya ma-inculcate sa utok sa sa mass no ang mga ideas na gusto niya i put forward no di ba uh, i have discussed with you how could you change the norms and the, and the answer to that would be mag-introduce kag idea and after some time that idea takes roots and so magka-expand siya right so that so that's the same with advertisements na kay idea nga i-send sa people or through your market and so through that idea through balik-balik no they would see it as something that's true or they would see it as something butang uh, butanta fundamentally right no so inana for example uh sige igo na to si Pia words back right sige si Pia words back has been the model for downy right downy katong humot nga version sa downy and I have no problem with that. The only problem I have with that is I don't think gapang labas yas ang kagulay yung sanina. But who the hell cares, right? Pia words back ga advertise ug Downey. Chris Aquino ga advertise ug Ariel. I don't think gapang labas yas ang kagulay yung sanina. No, so that's the thing with it. No, ah, uh, it actually tries to present as ideas that which are not basically logical but then again it doesn't have to be logical it just needs to capture your attention right kabantay mo if if kabantay pod mo here's the here's in terms of advertisements if they are promoting a product na medyo mahal and ilahang market would be people who are tanta who are opulent or rich ilang model nga gamiton labi na sa mga sa mga sa milk ha ilang model nga gamiton are mga 
mistiso o mistisa nga bata if you happen to see that sa promil right mistiso nga bata murag amerikano itsura no so promil and for grow so they have this white almost caucasian nga mga babies sa ilang advertisements but if they are advertising for butanta common nga milk such as bear brand choco na gatas kinsa to ilang gi uh, ilang gigamit nga model si coco martin which is very pangmasa kayo ang taste no but i don't think si coco martin ga inom og bear brand choco na gatas imagine sa yang kwarta <laughs> i don't think so but anyway uh, i don't have anything against him it's just that kana we have the models to we have the product models diba i mean there was one time nagigamit nila si James Reed as a model for uh, Milo nga product like energy gap nga concept is there even such a thing energy gap but anyway who cares right who cares about the truth in advertising the they only care about capturing your attention because if na capture nila yung mga attention then may introduce nilang idea they don't have to sell it right away they just want to introduce the idea and they don't really care if it's right or it's wrong or if it's honest wala sila ipakyan and so they use James Reed as model for their Milo energy gap no I have nothing against Milo or James Reed it's just that if kinsay gainom sa Milo and who are who are the people who most likely ga palit and unsay connection unsay connection ni James Reed sa sa butang ta sa energy gap nga concept I don't think gainom siya Milo gani right I really don't think but anyway so it's his life you no know? what I'm talking about is that ang sincerity sa advertisements could be questioned mang good no, kana lang pod no. because media can create and spread symbol that become the basis for our shared understanding of society it constructs our reality that's the thing with it it constructs reality if if i introduce sa media nga uy gwapa karon ang niwang for example if you're thin you're beautiful kana lang siya nga idea ha and so it's you will be bombarded with that idea 24/7 gikan sa pag-on nimo sa TV or gikan sa pagtan-aw nimo sa butang ta advertisement sa Facebook or or YouTube right mga artista diba most of them are skinny And so you have the concept you have this underlying concept basta guap basta niwang ka guapa and so you're going to embrace that as reality why because you cannot question it because it's been shown to you diba it's been shown to you by the media and the media is somehow butanta part as a factor as to parts of a factor nga g- na kay butanta stereo stereotype on something so kana so a guy should be like this a guy should be like that nga do i have i have so many memes sa sa internet nga makita and it's funny yes but actually it reflects a different kind of reality there is there's this one picture nga uh like uh the picture depicts babaeg lalaki nga maguyab daw sila and uh, find a guy who is blah 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 right but the idea with that picture if tanaw ni mo picture the lalaki is half naked mo sila gikan pagbakod gikan sa bed right and the premise was that find a boyfriend nga and ani nga and ana but here's the thing boyfriend girlfriend pa sila ang context pero ang picture depicts another thing nga 
it's like they have just woken out of bed which you could safely assume nga gashir sila bed but why why would you do that if we have pamo right so that's that's the I that's the idea of sharing ideas so you just put it out there and then it would be inculcated sa it would be inculcated sa mind sa tao oy okay ra ni no hey this is the new norm and so on and so forth right if if half of the people accept that then it becomes the truth wala kay lalis ana if more than half of the populace says nga okay this is the new norm and so it will become the new norm regardless of your of your protest so kana lang and so dako kay yang role nga giplay mo ginang in terms sa yung sa Philippine uh, constitution bawal ang foreigner maka-own og isa ka media outlet diri sa Pilipinas. Why? Because susceptible ang tao if i manipulate ni mo ang information. If magmanipulate ang information, if mag-introduce ka og idea, then there's no stopping it if mo take root na siya sa utok sa tao. And that's it. No, and then cultures will be of course, cultures will be uh, changed. The value value system would be changed, right? Now, uh, sa ato sa Philippine context, like uh, we have this concept of koan, diba? Like being conservative and so on and so forth. But what do you know? Unsa na magigitanaw sa tung mga young people karon, for example? So inana, and so. Unsa ilang ginatanaw? Unsa ang ideas nga ginaput nila sa ilang head? Now, maybe it could be safe to assume nga if lig on imong value system, if lig on imong foundation, then you would just see these things as as entertainment. But what if dili? What if kadaghanan sa itong mga young people, sa itong teenagers, would view this this teleseries, this series, these films, these advertisements, if they view this as truth, for example. No? There was this one, uh, I forgot, Emperador, Emperador, Monsignor, they always depict their advertisements as uh, young professionals, nakapolo, they're having the time of their life, happy sila, gainum. And that's it. That's the idea right there. But, again, constructs reality why because the the real nga setting would be if maginom ka if mahubog ka magkamang kamang ka sa kahubog it wouldn't that be murag flashy but in the advertisements medyo limpyo siya because of course it's an advertisement but it does not depict the reality diba like when Chris Aquino advert uh, promoted Ariel if you look at her hand I mean, seryoso mo nang kamot nga gawaswas? I don't think so. But then again, nobody's nobody's batting an eye because it's just an advertisement. But then again, we should be careful sa ideas nga ginaplant na to because it constructs reality. Kana lang po. Okay. So, that's the idea with media and technology. And so, with uh, Twitter and Facebook, no? na tayo gitawag nga uh, uh, construction of our social nga network. No, we, also, we should be careful with that because not everybody nga friend ni mo sa Facebook could be friend ni mo sa Tinod. No, and if you're ir- irritating sa Facebook, for example, irritating kay ka, and so, give, give block ka sa isa ka tao. Example, irritating kay ka din, give block ka sa imong mama kay irritating kay imong post. Ay, give unfollow ka rather. Sige, what if imong mama gi unfollow ka sa Facebook or gi block ka sa Facebook kay irritating imong post? Ga drama ka pirmi and so on and so forth. Would that basically mean nga nag-away na mo si imong mama? And the question is, and the answer would be, of course, dili because your relationship goes more than that, right? She gave birth to you. But then again, nganong masakitan? Nganong masakitan nung pugay block? Imagine. Sa 
pila na ka billion nga users sa Facebook giblak ang isa ka tao, why would you get hurt if insultuhon ka sa Facebook why would you get hurt because it becomes personal na mupod na siya in a psychological basis this social networking sites becomes the what the the appendix the rather the extension of ourselves kana and so if sawayon ka dira and you get hurt why because it reflects back to you no so kan if only we could find a way to divorce ourselves from our digital nga image sa real but then again wala diba and so it also this this social networking sites tanta wala man wala ko gasulti that it promotes pagkabatig batasan but because of its nature nga digital actually we had this as an experiment when i was still in undergrad no it was uh, about the experiment was about games and aggression but what we found out during the experiment i i think i was third year i was third year college ato the thing with that experiment was mas aggressive ang mga teenagers nga lalaki if online nga dula why because of the concept of it being online and if because of the concept nga anonymous sila because it's online it's di na kay siya di na kayo ma maubay ang etiquette no i had so many students labi na karon nga online class i had so many students that uh medyo medyo na nalimta na ang batasan kana right and so it takes butanta it takes your patience nga mainat sa gamay but again i take it impersonally because if if insultuhon ka sa isa ka tao, then di nimo dawato ng insulto. Asa mo balik ang insulto? If it's a gift, nga di nimo dawaton, asa mo balik ang gift sa gahatag. And so that. But let us be reminded of course, no, that let us be careful. Not because it's online, pwede na ka mag-rant dira. Yes, that's an extension of yourself, but always always try to filter in the personal level ha, always try to filter those things nga gusto ni mo ta igawas gusto ta ka mamalikas gusto na ka gusto na mo i-bash ang isa ka tao but always try to filter it with your own butan ta personal nga moral standards and etiquettes diba imong own personal nga filter system because you could have the justification nga nagrant ra ko because i was done this and i was hurt and so on and so forth yes you could use that but then again let me remind everybody that we are responsible for our own actions kana lang pod that bahalag unsa nakatigulang inyong maestra dira even if di siya kabalo mo di siya maayo mo computer or bahalag unsa naka terror yung teacher dira they are still butanta people who are placed by god as authority figure over you and so you're bound by duty to respect them so kana so i will lead, leave that to you so thank you for listening that's all so have a have a rest no me do get to get no rest but have a rest no chill and chill Okay, bye.